Ah, uh, yes, the beast. Something that will annoy you and you will probably smack it with the umbrella. Not realizing that they are the most powerful weapon this game has to offer. So, how and why did this happen? Gonna say something. You like jazz? <gasps> Welcome to my secret laboratory, where you can feel very safe. So, how did the bees became what they are today? Well, in 1.4 the journey mode was introduced. And as usual, the journey mode speedruns became a thing too. So, what did the journey mode speedruns needed? Well, the most efficient way to speedrun in journey mode is to have a source of damage that is easy to duplicate, quick to set up, and powerful. Before the bees, this was achieved by explosive bunnies. You just needed to catch some bunny, get some dynamite, research both of these things, and then research explosive bunnies. And you were able to kill everything with it. Whether it be the wall flesh, or mech bosses, plantera, whatever. The explosive bunnies were there for you. But in 1.4.1, Relogic gave us a few more crafting options. And one of them were beehives. Where? How to craft the beehive? It's way easier than getting the explosive bunny. You just need five hive blocks, an ectomist, have a workbench, and you have it. And you get infinite source of beehives. And why are beehives so powerful? Well, if you destroy it, you get usually around 3 bees. And what if I tell you that you can spam it and reach the NPC limit very very quickly? So if, if you just hold your left click, yep, <laughs> you have 200 angry bees ready to fight. <laughs> and, you know, damage of one bee isn't all that impressive, but the damage of 200 bees can do a lot. So, the new and better damage source was introduced. But, that isn't all. <laughs> bees had some very interesting ability for a long, long time in this game, which was being able to damage invincible enemies. What are the invincible enemies, you may ask? Well, those are the enemies that you can't damage or serve as the body for over damageable pieces. So, in practice, these entities are the Flying Dutchman, the Golem, the Pillars, and so on and so forth. So, in speedrun, with the bees, you could insta-kill golem, because you just needed to direct them at its body, which is invincible and has a low HP. Then you were able to actually kill the pillar without taking out its shield, <laughs> because that's <laughs> what the bees were able to do. And also, you could damage the moon lord's core without taking out its eyes, so it was a way quicker and easier way of defeating him. But outside of speedrunning, the bees, um, yeah, they were pretty practical, <laughs> mostly in the context of Old One's Army event, because Old One's Army portal is also an invisible enemy killable by bees. So you just started the event, you go to the one side, spawn some bees and delete one of the portals, which leaves you with only one side to defend, which, you know, <laughs> was pretty, pretty practical. <laughs> but all the good things eventually come to an end. And with the patch 1.4.1.2, which is more than a hotfix, aka known as the worst hotfix in Terraria history, the bees were changed. Right now, bees cannot damage those enemies. Which I, you know, get, it was a bug, it wasn't intended to be this way, but why? Why to actually fix it? In a casual playthroughs you will not use it that much, outside of the Old Ones Army event. And it was a fun gimmick that was in the game 
at least since 1.3. Um, you know, okay. <laughs> also, the bees have one more ability that is very practical, which is to reach the NPC limit very quickly, because NPC limit is 200, right? And one beehive spawns like usually three bees. So you just do that, again, spam it, and the NPC limit is reached. So with the NPC limit reached, you can do some shenanigans, which are, for example, preventing the pillars from spawning. Because if you reach the empty limit while the lunatic cultist dies, the pillars will not spawn. And the game will skip forward and spawn a moonlord for you, without any pillars. Which can be used in the casual playthrough, of course, but it's not, um, <laughs> it's not a smart move because, you know, you still need those, um, those fragments, right? So. Where are the bees right now? The bees are still a very powerful weapon to use. You can still kill the golem with them um, pretty easily without insta-killing him. And also you can somehow kill the moonlord's um, body parts with it. Well, they are still better than the explosive bunnies, sadly. Because the explosive bunnies were my absolutely favorite uh, thing to use. And by the way, the explosive bunnies got changed in this patch too. Because right now they have some um, scaling, so they will not always deal 350 damage minus the enemy's defense, um, but they still can serve as the uh, insta-killing uh, boss weapon in the pre-hard mode, so don't worry. If you really want to use them, go ahead. I hope you enjoy this little documentary on the Terraria journey mode speedrunning, and web. See you in the next one.